There you go. We rent. All right. Hey guys, it's day twenty-nine. You sure we recording? Oh, let me see. Oh, hey guys, that's what I look like. All right. Uh, if you look down here, it says ninety-day shred Bible nutrition, and for one p.m. has chicken breast, fresh bell peppers with onion or kale, arugula or spinach, tea and tablets. So if you look here, the skillet is piping hot. What you want to do when you pan sear veggies, especially fresh bell pepper, my fave, you uh, want to have the skillet hot so it sears it and then you get it off because if you overcook vegetables, it gets like slimy and it loses its color and its nutrients. So you want to get it on and get it off. So what I do is I super overheat that uh, cast iron skillet and then, as soon as I'm done cutting the veggies, it gets seared, it'll be like blackened on the outside, then you'll be good to go. So, you can cut them up uh, skinny like me or chunky, but you want to get a good mix. We had a yellow bell pepper, but that one uh, got moldy, so it's not going to be included in this. But, you can't go wrong with um, any veggies, but I like onions, because it's the universal seasoning, and I like fresh bell pepper and like I said you can cut these as thick or as thin as you want um, it's pretty much gonna be this with some spinach and this is actually chicken leg meat so you know I like dark meat white meats a little better but sometimes you just need that dark so this is sticking to the table with the water but you're gonna hear a sizzle when you put it in here okay, so it sound like. and it's not a wok but you can uh, bounce it around a little bit like it is. Turn on the fan. And the only thing that's in that pan is extra virgin olive oil. I got this from the Canaceria. Extra virgin olive oil, it's a mufa, virgin belly fat. You want to put that in there right quick. You want to put a handful of spinach in there right quick. Boom, that's going to go down quick. And you can put, uh, if you have a clove of garlic, you can put that in there too. Or if you just have some garlic salt or garlic seasoning, you put that in there. Fat. Red onion's good. Yellow onion's good. Anything but color. Um, nothing really white. This is a lime that we cut last night. It's a little dried out. But if you just do that. Limes are really good to alkalize anything that you put in your body. So this is just going to be a little bit of lime juice. Put on there for good luck. It also washes your hands and it cleans the table. If you're wondering why I'm bundled up and I have on clothes this episode, it's because it's cold in California. It happens. So, you need a spatula. It'd be nice to have one of those. Right over here. Exhibit A. Swag. Nope. Well, when you're resourceful like me, anything works. Like a spoon. This is the soup. Where's the spoon? Aha. A little bit more. And if you look, you see how the veggies are, the bell peppers and the onions, they're like blacky. So you want to have it super hot so it gets in and gets out. Some people like their spinach fresh. I kind of like mine in the olive oil with a little bit of garlic salt and garlic seasoning. But today I'm going to use pow, lemon pepper. Got this for like 39 cents at the Canaceria. Just a little bit. So you need. So what's gonna happen after this? These veggies are almost done. I'm gonna put them in this little friend. Then I'm gonna wash this chicken out and cut it up. And I'm gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna have chicken and veggies. And it's good when you eat to have some snack on, so you don't eat the food. Bring the food when you sit down. So I just got some ball warmers. Good protein based snack as well. And while I'm cooking, I can actually snack and I eat our food. Can and will happen. So now that this is done, it actually work better than this, especially in this situation. I'm gonna empty it in this frame. And it can chill right there. Look at that, it's still good. And as you can see, it's blackened and it's good. And that's a perfect vegetable medley. It's really good with antioxidants and protein with the spinach. And over here, 
I'm gonna put that back in there and then simmer the fire down a little bit. Boom. Put some more oil in there, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Rotate it around. And now it's wet. And what happens is before this video, or before you do the veggies, you want to have the meat out. As you can see, this is skinless boneless leg meat, which is good. You open it like this. And at just my amount of power, you'll break through the whole package. It's called a spear finger. So just to give you guys an example, because um, I don't feel like cutting it up, I'm just going to rinse one off, throw it in there, have the fire on low, let it simmer. Now you see that's a lot of leg meat. So if you want to, you can cut this up, right? If you want to, you can cut this baby up. But we're just going to throw it in there like this. Probably cut it up during or after inside of the pan. If you follow me over here. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Police ain't going on a hard time finding you, boy. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. And it's going lower. If the pan is still hot from simmering like that, if you actually want to simmer meat, you don't want to scorch it. You want to simmer the meat. And you want to put the most seasoning on it, or the lemon color, whatever you want to put the most seasoning on it after you eat it because that's how you can taste the seasoning. So a lot of people use marinade or things like that before because it soaks in the meat. Or if we have time, you can put it in a bowl and make love to it. You can massage it with different seasonings, spices, oregano, or whatever. And it will be in there, but this is kind of like, you know, commoner chicken. So it's kind of like commoner meal. But I'm a peasant hat, a peasant shoe. Commoner it up. So this is just going to simmer. Fire's down. We got our veggies. We got our chicken. We got our seasoning. The fire's at a good temperature. Set about on a scale of one to ten. It's probably on a four. And um, this is all you need for a protein-based snack and a lean meal. You don't need a starch. If you do, do something like brown rice, quinoa, couscous, and um, also have your tea and tablets with this. So I got a gallon pre-made right here. So I'm just going to have, this is a the Herbalife Herbal Tea Concentrate, which is right here. So this burns 80 to 100 calories per serving. It also is a detox because it has black tea, green tea, oolong tea, and hibiscus flour in it. And then um, that's what makes it thermogenic. That's why it burns 80 to 100 calories, the hibiscus flour, because it's like a fire flower on Super Mario. And then uh, also, what it's going to do is have natural caffeine swing and natural energy. So. That's pre-made in this, and we have some of the aloe in it too. Oh, we use it all. We have some more in the back, but the herbal aloe improves your digestion. Sweetens the tea. Excellent. So this is right here. Uh, my tablets are actually right here. Hello, it's tablet. And uh, here go the tablets. So I'm gonna have with this, this some pictures of Megan. This is her in high school. She was in college in this one. And she wrote uh, my name on the back. Um, I put her right here by the spread by the You know, let's tell My fault. Everybody say what's up to Tally. Hey. Here to serve you. So, he's a shredder as well. We're all shredded. And uh, I have the multivitamin cell activator and the cellulose tablet. What these three babies do is the dream team. What they do is uh, they give you micronutrient absorption, your RDA, and uh, it eliminates unhealthy water weight. So we're going to do that with the tea. Boop. I would do it in an Herbalife class, but I'm going to have my commoner mug. Boom. Tea tabs right there. Uh, if you need sandwich bags or Ziploc bags, Order Herbalife, get the Herbalife Ziploc. You can put your veggies right inside it, man. Put a line in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you focus on the meat, you can see how one side is like a little bit cooked and then the other side is pink. You want to let meat sit as long as possible and let it cook all the way through on one side before you flip it. So that's a good way to cook it, man. It's just it's going to sit there. Chicken leg meat. Chicken breasts are awesome, too. Oh, just one more thing. This is kind of fancy, though. I recently discovered something at Target. 
Target brand Market Pantry sparkling chilled water. And if you look on the bag and if you read it, it probably won't focus, but it has nothing. No total fat, no sodium, no carbohydrates, no protein, no calories, no nothing. It's just vitamin infused. So it has your B vitamins in it. It has biotin in it and vitamin D. And if you look at the ingredients, the only thing that I see on here that would be questionable is the potassium benzo benzoate. And that's because it says it's a preservative, so you want to stay away from preservatives. But I don't think it would be that harmful or malicious to our health. And it has things like green tea extract, sucralose, which is a, a good sugar substitute. Um, then it has natural dyes in it. Um, yeah, I, I really don't see anything harmful. So I'm trying it out. It's something new to me. You want to mix it up, keep it new. And I mix it in with my tea a little bit. It tastes delicious. That's peach tea, so this is peach pear, so that's like a sweet peachy peach tea combination. And um, yeah, what a salon. So after this is done, I'll probably post a picture for the gram and put it on Facebook. But this is day 29, 90 day shred. In two days, the virtual body challenge starts and somebody's gonna win a MacBook. It's going down. I have on a hat because it's cold. My name is Kyra Herbalife. Forever. See you next time.